Oh, and yeah. we are live. Hello, everyone. This Hi, is Dr. Rose with uh, my friend Maddie from Perfume Corner. Maddie is my enabler, my facilitator for perfumes. Hi, Maddie. <laughs> Welcome Hi. to my first live with me. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm so happy that you are here to do this with me today because because of you, I was able to get this perfume. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. If it wasn't you, I would not be. I would not have been able to find this perfume. So let let's say hello to some people here. We have perfumes with Pat. Hi Pat. We have Eve Marcel. We have Chapeau Zo. Uh, here so far. So far we have, we have three people here so far. But that's good. That's just you know. And we have Ali Alexen. We're uh, getting from that. We keep getting more people. Yes, we keep getting more people. Uh, we have more people, uh, you know, uh, joining us. So, all right. Tonight we want to talk about the one and only Angel. Come on, please. So, before we do this, I want to uh, give Maddie an opportunity to say hello to people and tell people about herself, where she lives, and everything. So, Maddie, you have the floor. Hi guys, I am out here in Arizona in Phoenix or Scottsdale. I don't know what you know. Oh, hi Catherine, that's my mom. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hi, <my> mom. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> shout out to the moms. Um, anyway, uh, it's now getting cold here, uh, but it's like 60 degrees. That's our cold. <laughs> so oh. I feel the rest of the country. Um, I've been collecting perfumes as long as I can remember, and it's an obsession. And it's one that Rose and I have bonded over for sure. So um, we're going to talk about this fragrance tonight that we both love. And I'll let, oh, she's drinking. <laughs> I was going to pass it over to her, but okay. um, we're, we're just going to share our, our uh, discovery of this and well, how it all went down. Hey, Amina. Well, go ahead. Do you want me to or you to? Yes, no, you, please. Okay, so we were in another fragrance group, and I was obsessed with finding Delina. And, um, or, or just smelling it. Like, I'd smelled it, but I wanted some, and I just, I was not committed to it. So, Rose, bless her heart, okay. sent me a decant. And then she sent me a little more than a decant. And I was like, oh, my God, this woman, she's amazing. And we went back and forth. Hi, Michelle. Mwah. We went back and forth sending each other things. And um, I got her a bottle of the Red Collector's Edition. Hi, Arlie, of uh, Chanel Number no. 5. And we just bonded. Like, we're perfume spirit sisters. And when she started the Perfume Corner group on Facebook, um, I, I came with her and I've been working with her on it and I'm just passionate about this group and what she's doing and Rose as the most ethical and wonderful person I know. Oh, so um, we've, we've just become good, fast friends and uh, are really enjoying pursuing this passion we share together. And so. you, you got, you got a promotion on, on Perfume Corner, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. so, so in the group in the perfume corner group uh you can either be a moderator uh, which is kind of like a supervisor or you can be a an ad, uh, administrator right right an admin, which is kind of like a manager above you know director kind of kind of role so <laughs> i made my a moderator yeah, no, so, no, you made me an admin. I know, I, yeah, you, yeah. And Maddie said, "Oh, I don't understand. When are you gonna make me uh, an admin? Uh, 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 an admin? I'm like, who, what difference does it make?" She said, "I deserve that promotion. You need to give me that promotion." I was like, "Okay, fine, Maddie. I will." Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a total <laughs> joke because I never like. I don't care about power and never give me any responsibility, but, <laughs> but I'm very gracious and I love being an admin of that group. So hey, Deborah. hi Deborah. So let me tell you about Deborah guys. For those of you who don't know Deborah, Deborah is also a YouTuber who, you know, perfumes, she's like perfume girl. 
So I, I've been seeing her on uh, Lulu's live a lot, but I didn't know that she had on her own channel. So last weekend I found out she had her own channel. So I said, let me go and maybe, you know, see, uh, you know, her channel. I got hooked. That woman, I, I because of her, I have no money this week, okay? <laughs> I'm so lucky I had gas in my car. Otherwise, I would not be able to eat. Yikes. Hi, uh, Nellie. Hi, Nellie. She had some of the most gorgeous perfumes. And some of them are like from uh, friends. Hey, Pam. Hi, some Pam. Of them are from friends. I even went and ordered one from friends. Some of the, one of her perfumes from friends. Uh, she uh, like, and she has like all these, uh, uh, she was showing all of her perfumes. And I'm sitting there just watching them. We're at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh, man, I need to go to sleep. But I'm like, I need to watch this thing. So I took pictures, uh, you know, with my phone while the line was going, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's so naughty. Yeah. Nope. So if you guys have a chance, you know, check out uh, Deb uh, Deborah's channel. And, you know, it's just like her name says, Deborah Day. We also have Pam Jordan here also, who's also a YouTuber. And I caused uh, Pam to buy some perfumes this weekend, and she went live talking about her first month, Sarah. So yeah. I am also enabled. And Julian is here. Hi, Julian. Hi. You, so Julian Creed here is uh Chatelaine on, on the in the group. And oh you know, hi Chatelaine. I yeah. didn't even know. Well, yeah. I go by Emla, so you never know who's who. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah. So tonight I'm so excited that you know we have 26 people. I didn't think we were gonna have that many people because on Common Sense and Lulu were on. So uh thank you guys so much. So thank let me, you. Let me you. tell you about this perfume. So I think you, if some of you guys who have seen the the live, right? Uh, I mean, not the live, the the, the uh, unboxing with me. Yeah, unboxing. Uh, I the perfume was out, so I went and bought the perfume, right? You said you bought it within like twenty minutes. No, of two perfume. minutes. Two, two minutes. minutes. Yes, this was on it. Yeah. Two minutes. It was released, and then uh, three hours later. I receive an email and I'm thinking, oh yes, it's been shipped already. It says your order was canceled. I feel like my heart just like, just I feel like they just ripped my heart apart. I had no idea that a perfume could, could have done this, something like that to me. A guy cannot rip my, my heart apart the way that perfume with, with my heart apart. You can't do that to Rose. <laughs> I, don't know what I said, what, what happened? So, you know, I wasn't mad. I was really nice because I'm like, well, maybe if they have another perfume, they can just give it to me. And the lady was like, no, we just want out. I said, two minutes? I said, in two minutes you want out? Are you serious? So I said, okay, then give me my freaking money. They wouldn't give me my money. I kept, I called the second day. I'm like, where's my money? It's not like I really needed the money. But, but you know, it's the principal. Yeah. You have my money. You can't sell the, the product that I wanted to buy. Give me my money. And I looked everywhere. couldn't find the perfume. Until Maddie said, I called Maddie and I'm crying like Maddie. Only Maddie could understand me crying over a perfume, right? <laughs> In the heart, I felt it. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Uh, and so, and I'm like, look, uh, Mad Maddie, I don't know what I'm going to do for this one because I really want this perfume. And Maddie uh, called me. She's like, let me make a phone call. And she called. She said, I have the perfume for you. I'm like, are you kidding me? Where did you find this perfume? That's when she told me, you know, she has a friend who sells perfume and, and I've already put her name and her information on, uh, on the uh, on my channel on the comment uh, on my channel description on the channel so you guys can see her name. She also works works for uh, for Saks, and she is awesome. She is awesome, and she's the reason why I ended up with uh, this uh, you know small uh, decant because she sent it to me also. She's she, so she's great. So this is what the decant looks like, guys. It looks like what the seven hundred dollar carafe looks like, or carafe. Right. And I'm thinking, you know, because the perfume is so small, I'm thinking that I really want to get that, you know, that 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 carrot. But seven hundred bucks, that's a lot of money. I was thinking that we could uh, resell it and stuff, but it's not worth it because even if you, you know, retail it, it's just so expensive to make the money. All right. So let's show the perfume. You guys seen it, you know. I think you guys have seen a lot of people talk about this perfume. It is stunning. Like oh the presentation God. is stunning, and it looks just like a little bottle of cognac, a little crystal decanter with 
you know, beautiful brown juice in it. Hi. Oh, yeah, I've got my little fascinator on. <laughs> well, I'm also Halloween, so I've got my little my little orange and black dress on and my details. So thank you. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm not always here for you because you're her friend. He, he never comes for me. <laughs> yeah. He's here for me. <laughs> so, uh, um, Pam, I just wanted for the bottle. Which one, Pam? The big one or the small one? If you so, get the one, let me know because I'm interested in the big one. The big one will look this way, but be uh, 8.4 milliliters. But it's seven hundred dollars. Um, yeah. This one was not that much. It was what two ish? Do we are we oh, allowed to say that? Right. So uh, hold on, hold on. In, I don't think we're allowed channel, to say that. On this channel, a, a, two, a bottle perfume of two hundred dollars is actually that much because not everybody can afford two hundred dollars, right? True. Yeah. So it's that it is it, it is um, I think it's pricey. What do you think? It is pricey. It's Killian pricey. are pricey. Yeah. And the thing about Killian, it is a niche and you cannot buy it on the liquidators or the uh the overstock sites. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. they just yeah. don't market it there. So this one you have to go through one of the big stores yeah. to get. And right now this is an exclusive I believe to Killian stores. Saks Fifth Avenue and probably Neiman, I think. So anyway, uh, but nobody has it. No, nope. there, there was some some noise that uh, Sephora said uh, they had it, uh, but I look on the Sephora website, they don't have it. You know, it's out. Are we allowed to say how much this is, Rose? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So it was with tax. It was about two hundred, a little like two seven to eleven. Yeah. Something like that, Pam. Um, and this is a 1.7. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. don't mind my bad eyes. <laughs> but go ahead. The thing is, I think, you know what? So uh, I'm a perfume lover. And there is one thing that I cannot do. My my facial expression cannot lie to people, right? Uh, hey, Fergus Anatomy. No, that's Misty. <laughs> hey, Sasha. Okay, so for those of you who don't know Fergus Anatomy, he's my uh, YouTube husband. Ooh. Yeah, so meaning that, you know, how sometimes you have a YouTube, uh, a Facebook boyfriend, Facebook husband. So he's my YouTube husband. Can we share him? He's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask him. Don't ask me. I'm the wife. You, you have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, friends. No, I'm hey, just hey, kidding. Hey, 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 thank you for joining. I have a wonderful man who helped me set up the technology, I, and he's up here very unhappy. Oh, that well, I said that take you offline, okay? But because he will. <laughs> he will take me offline. I'm not even kidding about it. So, oh, he looks very unhappy. I'm getting the unhappy face. Okay, I'm not sharing anything but perfume. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, to go back to what I said, I cannot uh, lie about, uh, you know, uh, perfumes. Okay, if it stinks. Oh my God, someone just gave me five dollars. Thank you. Woo thank, you thank you guys. You. Yay. And uh okay, so I uh I cannot lie about perfumes uh because if it stinks, I'm gonna tell you it stinks. Okay. Uh Didi said she got the killing discovery kit from Sephora. Did 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 you find this one in it, uh, Didi? I don't I doubt it, right? So what I got from Saks. Uh, prior to the uh, release of this were these little um, the, the samples and um, this case uh, so this perfume is from the liqueurs line and in it they have it was angel share and roses on ice so oh, you've got okay. one of each um, oh, wow. okay. you can see that and the I did not care for the roses on ice. It smelled like cucumber and it was supposed to, like it had a cucumber element in that. Oh, really? And I don't know if this is supposed to be a masculine feminine or a summer fall. I mean, it's all very subjective. Hi, Um, But so these were the little samples that they were giving out prior to the release date. Okay. So I, I never smell roses and ice, uh, but from what a lot of people describe describe it, I don't think I would I would I would uh, you know uh, 
be a fan of it. But let me not lie to you guys. This perfume here is freaking super freaking great. Okay. So most of you guys who know me, you know my orgasm perfume is uh what's my orgasm perfume? <laughs> Oud Lemon Mint. Okay, Oud Lemon Mint is my orgasm perfume. Okay. Montserra or Montal? Montserra. Yeah. Montserra. Montserra, yeah. Uh well, yeah. Michelle, hold, hold on just a second. Okay. Michelle, it did sound nice. And if you like that cucumber smell, it's very cucumber forward and and not very strong on the rose. So it just, you know, perfume is so subjective, but that's what I pulled from it. So you may have to smell it. I don't know. Hi, Joy. Oh, my God. Joy is here. So you guys, this woman was my rock when I lived in Washington, D.C. She, she, uh, Joy used to work with me. Joy protected me like her own child. Oh my God. You could, I mean, I could no, do no wrong when it, when it came to Joy. Okay. So yeah, this woman is, was Love like. Love you, Joy. Thank you. Know. Yes. Hi, Lori. Lori. You were well, saying. Give us some more money. So. Woo, thank you, Lori. So before I tell you guys what I did with that perfume on Sunday night, uh, Monday and last night. So, you know, we had the uh, fundraising uh, last week for the Breast Cancer Foundation, right? Which thanks to all who participated yes. and donated. Thank you. You guys were so great and so generous with what you uh, with your donation. Uh, we sold some perfumes. And uh, let me tell you what we did with the perfume. So we sold, we bought the perfumes with our own money. And we would sell them for maybe, maybe making like maybe $10, 5 extra on them. And all the money, the money that we spent in the, in the perfume and also the money we made, we all put them together. So we collected $1,012. Uh, and so I went uh, to the bank today and got a check for $1,012. Where the heck is it? <laughs> and then she probably lost it. <laughs> no, I did not lose it because I put it in an envelope. I knew I was going to come here with it. So hold on. This was a cause very near to Rose's heart. And I want you guys to know Rose just cares about people. She's a frontline worker who loves fragrance, but really, really cares about people. So this oh. is one of her many causes that is close to her heart. And like a lot of the perfume sites were, or, YouTubers were just posting pink stuff, but not doing anything about it. She did this fundraiser and we have something to show for it. So, so drum roll check. Uh, I cannot find the check, but it's upstairs, but I'm going to show you guys a copy of it. And then what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to uh, uh, do a small video, very small video, maybe five minutes. I'm, uh, I wrote a letter. I'm going to uh, read the letter online that I uh, prepared to send to the uh, Breast Center Foundation with the check. I'm going to post a copy of the letter and a copy of the check so everybody will be able to see it, to see what we did with the money. And the check is actually made. The, it's a cashier check. I went to the bank. And Billy, listen to this. The bank charged me. They charged me for the, to, to get a, ca a cashier check. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to post it tomorrow so you guys... Yeah, you can't see it, Rose. I'm gonna put, uh, and I'm gonna email a copy of the check to each of the uh, uh, ladies who are with me, so so they can post it on their community page. So you guys can see what your money did. So one thousand. Okay. So let me tell you uh, that one thousand one one thousand twelve dollars. What you can do? Uh, a mammogram. When you when a woman goes to a hospital, I know this is not about cancer. This show is not about cancer, but I just want to tell you guys what that money that we raise, what the potential effect that money can do can have on people's lives. When you go to a hospital, a typical mammogram is about maybe two hundred and fifty dollars, right? Uh, that's without the, without the doctor reading the reading, reading the mammogram for you, uh, uh, reading the mammogram because there's a reading fee and also there's the, the mammogram. The mammogram at the hospital is about two hundred fifty dollars. If you don't have insurance, what those hospitals they do they give you a thirty percent to forty percent discount. So you you probably end up paying uh, maybe one twenty five. So imagine a thousand dollars and paying uh, one twenty-five for mammogram for each woman. Just imagine how many women you could help with that mammogram. So that's what that money is going to do. And also, 
uh, some women after they, you know, after they have surgery, they feel really bad because they lose their, you know, they lose their hair because of chemo. They have to wear a wig. Sometimes they have to wear, you know, some of them, they don't wear a wig, but they, they wear a scarf. That money can also help them. That money can also help them to get books while they get in chemo because getting chemo, if, if some of you guys have never been in a hospital, uh, when you go to a chemo, chemo uh, where people are getting chemo, it's one of the loneliest area, okay, that you can see in your life. I think uh, chemo uh, and all the cancer center in a hospital and also where people go for dialysis, these are the two loneliest places you can find in a hospital. So those women, they sit there. So some of that money could also be used for, you know, to help those women out, to buy them books. You know, things, you know, books on tapes and things for them to listen to while they're going through this. Uh, imagine a woman who's by herself sitting there having chemo. She doesn't know whether, oh my God, is this going to work? Right? Am I going to be okay after this chemo? And when they go home, from the time they leave the chemo room, that, that person is sick for hours because they go home, they puke and puke and puke and puke out. Their guts out. So, you know, they can use some of that money to maybe to buy them snacks. I, you know, thank you, Gillen. And I mean, I'm telling you, I'm getting goosebumps from this because I just love helping people. And I wish I could have given them more. If I didn't buy this freaking perfume. <laughs> don't them even more. liken them because then once those scales are weighed, you'll never feel good. But yeah. the point is you're fighting for a beautiful cause. People contributed to this cause that yeah. it's home to a lot of us. I mean, yeah. a lot of us and have you know, been. Yeah, like some people who actually bought the perfume, they donated extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do, donated extra. I just, I mean, I just love the fact that people just reach out. You know, they didn't have to buy perfume. Some of the perfumes who were, were selling, they weren't like expensive, you know, extravagant perfume that they couldn't find other places. They were just regular, normal perfumes, and people buy them because it was for a cause. You know, like Pam Jordan bought, uh, it, uh, not Pam Jordan, uh, some, Pam donated some money, but Pat Perfumes with Pat, she purchased a perfume for, uh, from me. It was like a $20 bottle of perfume, and she paid more for it. And when I look at her collection, she has way more, you know, better perfume in her collection. But she purchased it because she wanted to, you know, to donate to a cause. And that perfume she purchased could, you know, could buy a woman a wig. Imagine not having hair. When we have hair, right, we take it for granted. Oh, my God, I need to go get a haircut, right? But imagine a woman who's losing her hair. She's losing her hair. And, she and, her, and her hope. You and her, her, her hope. And her hope. So one of the girls that I work with today, she was telling me that everyone, every woman in her family, they all had breast cancer. She had an aunt who went for surgery. Guess what? They cut the wrong breast. When she told me that I just froze, I was like, okay, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. So I'm going to stop right now. Now let's talk about yeah. happy things yeah. because we have beautiful fragrances. Oh, all comments they just gave me the, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, he's now. As of yesterday, his channel is monetized. Yay, and common so sense. We're going to have a live where we're going to donate a bunch of perfumes. So I may even so, donate a decant of this, not a big ooh, one. Ooh, so you I'm, guys be there for that. So yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk and, about and I, have, and I have some other Killians. I may even donate, you know, some testers yeah, yeah, from the, from these other uh, Killians. Yeah. So uh, you, never know. you never know what's going to happen, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Listen, uh, uh, watch me, uh, what me, Misty uh, said. Every female in my family that we have lost uh, was to cancer. Oh my God. I'm sorry, oh, Misty. Oh, I'm so sorry, Misty. I am so, so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry, guys. But we wrote a beautiful letter to them, express to the American Cancer Society, expressing our support and our hope for a cure, and our you know wanting these funds to go toward research, toward supporting these women. So, you know, we appreciate everyone's interest in this and and financial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's about the hat and the Killian tonight. I get the message. Yeah, right? I have the hat. Oh my God, Pam Jordan. Thank you so much, Pam. Oh, Pam. Oh. So Thank let's you. talk about Killian, guys. You're being yeah. so kind oh, okay. and generous. Here's the story of the perfume, guys. 
So I did not open it. You know, like I said in the you know the uh, the unboxing, I did not open the perfume. But after I did the video on Sunday night, I took a shower and put this perfume on. Okay. So Monday morning I had to go to work. So the whole night I couldn't sleep. This perfume was so freaking intoxicating. I felt like I was, I mean, I don't drink whiskey, I don't drink bourbon, I don't drink what's the other what's the other note? Uh cognac. Cognac. I don't drink cognac. I've never know what cognac smells like. The whole night I was like, I'm sitting in a bed of cognac with sugar. But in a good, sexy yeah, like, good one. drunken, sexy night way. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, uh, this is so good. And so I, I woke up, I took, took a shower to go to work, wash my hair, dry my skin. The freaking perfume was still on my skin. And, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a neat freak. So when I'm taking a shower, I'm in, I, I wash and wash and wash because I never feel like I'm clean enough. Mm -hmm. And a boyfriend actually left me because of that. Can you believe that? Because I, 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 I took too long in the shower. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> So, we're hoarding all the hot water, Rose. Duh. I I didn't do. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh my God, someone said I drink Claire. <laughs> you, know <what> Claire <laughs> you know what Claire is? Claire is a, is a really hot liquor in Haiti. When I was a kid, that must be somebody who knows me. I'm going to kill that person when I find out who that person is. Uh, uh, oh, you my Thank you. Thank you, husband. My husband is paying my bills. See, it's always good to have a husband, right? Uh, so Claire in Haiti, it's a, it's a hard liquor. It's like pure white alcohol. When I say pure white alcohol. Like Everclear or Moonshine? Clear, Moonshine, yeah. But my grandmother used to sell it. So when I was a kid, what I used to do, I used to steal her liquor. Claire, <laughs> right? Yeah, I used to steal her liquor and put sugar in it. Ooh. And drink it. And then if you put some lemon... You just have like, you know, one one of the booziest drinks, right? So, but now I don't drink. But when I was a kid, I was an alcoholic. <laughs> when I was like six, seven years old. <laughs> At six. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. In Haiti, you could be five years old and your parents are drinking a, a beer. They give you a beer to drink. There's no such thing about, you know, drinking laws uh, age in Haiti. Right. Yeah. I used to drink that stuff for them. So that probably is my sister who said that. My sister, Nestle or Ibna. <laughs> Who said I used to drink clearing? <laughs> so anyway, I woke up that morning. Hey, uh, hey Nikki Marks, thank you so much for being here. I woke up that morning and uh, this perfume was still on my skin. I was like, oh my God, this perfume is still here. And my pillow, my pillowcase was, the perfume was all over the room. And you know, I'm not a heavy sprayer because you know, it's so small. You don't want to spray too much, right? I only spray like four sprays, four, four sprays I sprayed it. You don't need to overspray with this. You just don't no. need. This is just like so boozy. So I, you know, you, usually what I do uh, when I wear perfume for the first time, I take it, I put it in my purse. I always do that. If somebody steals my purse one day, I'm going to cry. Because there was like two, three bars of perfume in my purse. Seriously. <laughs> so I put it in my purse and, and then Monday morning I put some on. I, 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 I spread it a little bit, put some in, in my hand. And then put it on my hair. I think I got the most compliments on Monday for this perfume on. Like ever? <laughs> ever. Yes, ever. Wow. So there was uh I have two girls at uh in my office that uh, I always we always talk about perfumes, and so they were like behind behind an office. So I was standing uh, 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 you know away from the from the glass door, and I said, Can you guys smell my perfume? They're like, Oh yeah, it came, it, it just traveled and went in, in you know into where they were. I was like, wow. So I let them smell it, and they, one of them was like, oh, this, this needs to come home with me. And I was like, uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Don't touch my perfume. Try to get your own. <laughs> so then last night, we have a new a new uh, consultant who just started because uh, one of them, one of the, the consultants that used to work with me is living. So we went, I went out for, you know, for dinner and drinks. Of course, you know, I, I had a glass of wine. So we're talking about the perfume. So they, they sprayed it. All of them liked it. And it just stayed right there on the table and how unique is that that there's actually a group of people who all like a fragrance i mean that's yeah. rare yeah. that's rare that a number of people will like a fragrance i mean uh nelly it is very boozy i'm not gonna lie to you no it's not too boozy it's i don't think boozy, so. but it's boozy okay it's boozy 
So um, give, your, give your interpretation of it and then I'll give mine. Yeah. I think it's it's boozy uh, in, in a sense, you know, it's powerful. It's, a, you know, so this is, you know, I called all the perfume my orgasm perfume, but this one, I think I'm going to call it as my uh, don't F with me perfume. Ooh. Yes, this is, you know, like this is a, a, a woman, a woman's perfume, not a young kid, right? It's a boss perfume. Yeah, it's a boss perfume. Yes, yeah, it's a perfume that you you want to wear when you want to make make your let people know, hey, she's yes, coming. yeah, yes. she's coming. yeah. And I can see a guy wearing this wearing this with a very powerful suit a suit on, or he's going to a club to a nightclub. I cannot wait to go to Florida after COVID to go dancing to hate. Ooh, him. yes, you will attract them like flies, girl. Yes. Because I think if you wear this out, you then you go out dancing. The more you are dancing, the more uh, the perfume is gonna come out because mm -hmm. it stays on your skin. It's this perfume stays on your skin forever. Yes, please, guys, uh, hit the uh, hit the like button, please. Yeah, like and subscribe and yes. comment and all that good stuff, please. Oh, uh, Lulu said she's jelly. <laughs> <laughs> she's leaving. No, do that, Lulu. Oh, don't leave Lulu. Oh, my friend, look at it. Yeah. Yeah, this perfume. So I call it, you know, don't F, don't F with me perfume. Will I want to work again? Probably not. It is not something that I'm going to work to work. No. I will wear the other Killian's work, but this one, I, I, I don't think I'm going to wear this one to work. It's, I mean, it was that good. And then I wore it again last night. I said, okay, maybe sometimes you wear for the first time, right? You're like, well... I did well. I went again last night and this morning again. So I changed my pillowcase because I'm like, okay, let me see if the scent still going to stay there. I went again. It's the same thing. Good it, idea. It's, I mean, it's, you know, I like Killian. Okay. I just started wearing Killian because, you know, some guy gave me this one. Some guy. You know, I don't, don't want to say his name. Don't. Uh, he gave me this one for my birthday. And then I fell in love with that one. And then so I started, you know, I got into the Killian trend, right? And, but yeah. we are this good you know, girl. I have, I, have four, I have six killings, but I think this one here, this killing here, uh, beat all of them up. This one is like the number one in booz in boozy frequencies. So tell me your, your impression of it. Well, first I want to say <laughs> when I <laughs> first <laughs> found this, whatever, Lulu, <laughs> just because no, um, there were nine of them they were getting in, and um. I, Rose is really uh, finding it boozy and I find it very cinnamon forward, really? um, very apple brandy, but not heavy on the booze. Um, I mean, I get the cognac and I get more praline and the vanilla dry down and the tonka bean. It's all in there and it's all amazing without being like sicky sweet, but Fall is my season and Halloween is my favorite holiday. And this is so perfect for like the chill in the air and the crisp weather. And it's just amazing. Um, and I, I can highly recommend it as far as the Killians go, as far as lasting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really sensitive to fragrances and this one doesn't have any floral notes in it. Um, it has like oak moss and uh, as I said, the tonka and the vanilla and praline. Um, but it's those kinds of warm and delicious things in there that make you want to just, you know, grab the person and, and <laughs> get them <on> off. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> Lulu knows that my entire family, 90% of my family is in Florida, <laughs> in South Florida. <laughs> I'm not going to hook up with our dog. <laughs> but you know what, so, if I'm in South Florida, he's a, he's a fellow YouTuber. I would love to see him. So, But I'm not going there to hook up with him, Lulu. <laughs> Go bad. Funny, yeah. One thing I wanted to say, there have been a lot of talk about the fact that this is crystal and the cap is plastic yeah. it's a heavy cap but it is plastic um they did that on purpose because if you drop your cap when you're spraying it won't shatter so it's not all lost if you drop your cap and it, it's a heavy cap that clicks on but you know i mean 
it's not the foremost thing when we're yeah. smelling this delicious fragrance. Yeah. But, I, uh, hey, Jesse. I don't have one. Um, I'm just here to support Yeah, sorry, Jesse. So you, you stuck with me, Jesse. <laughs> I'm around. Yeah. I'm lurking. But yeah, they Jesse actually uh, was the first person I think who commented on my on my YouTube channel. I think he was the first person. Oh, thank you. But I haven't seen him comment it so, so in a while. I was like, what happened to Jesse? I haven't seen his comments. So Jesse, I'm glad you're back. We're glad you're here. Thank I'm you. Glad you're here, Jesse. Because I haven't seen him in a while. I was like, I'm, because sometimes you know you you see people, you know, comment just like in perfume corner. If I don't if I don't see someone for a while, I will send him a message say, Hey, I haven't seen you posted in a while. Are you okay? You know, I'm just checking up on you. And you know, some I do that because you know, this is COVID, right? You don't know what people are going through. People could be going through stuff and you don't know. And a few of the people that I check on this week, I'm glad I checked on them. You know, I was able to, you know, to, to not not to get noisy in somebody's life, but just to, you know, let them know, hey, you know, we're part of the community. Because I because people, you care. It's that like caring care. thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, during COVID, if I didn't have, you know, uh, people in, in the fragrance group to talk to, I can tell you I probably would have ended up in a no house. I would end up in a no house because I was home alone. All my family was in Florida and my mom is in Haiti. Uh, I couldn't see anybody that I knew in the area. It was so hard. But I had people that I used to talk to about perfume and that's why I met you, Mali. You know, we used to spend hours on the phone talking about perfumes and we never got tired of it because Ever. You know, we, both, we both love, right? So, you know, when you're part of a group, if you don't see people, you're like, oh, what's, you know, what's happening? How come I haven't seen that? Where'd they go? Yeah. But hey, Jesse, I'm, you know, thank you so much. You know, I'm, I'm glad. And I did check on, on Cheryl too. I uh, I asked her daughter. I'm like, I haven't Cheryl. seen your mom. Yeah, I haven't seen your mom. What's going on? So you get to know people. You get to know, you know, who's related to who, you know, what they do. And, you know, it's, I mean, yeah, I think it's great. You know. Bottom and, line, she's yeah. saying she's watching you guys. She's a peeper. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, Angel Share does have praline, but it's not super strong. Um, no. I I have a nut allergy, and generally I'd have a really hard time with that. It doesn't bother me. Um, but it's kind of like a pecan. Some people find almond in it. Um, I just find it's very sultry and attractive. Yeah. So uh, you know the notes. I mean, uh, the, uh, you know. The, the, the top note is just one note, guys. The top note of this thing is basically uh, cognac. I think they just put the cognac on top. See, I get cinnamon. I get cinnamon, I get cinnamon oh, apple. Oh, no, no, this is, oh, no, look, so this is what I did. I've never smelled cognac before, right? <laughs> I didn't know what it smelled like. So when I had those guys smell it, they, everybody I had smelling this perfume, they're like, oh, yeah, this is cognac. I smell the cognac and I smell the praline and then I smell the, the vanilla. Yeah. These are the three things. And you guys know that I cannot tell, uh, a, you know, a, a, a note from a note, right? Yeah. Thank you, Nika. Thank you so much. Yeah, I cannot tell a note from a note, but this one, I was able to pick out the booze. This is boozy. And I love it. I, you know, I'm, I'm so mad though. Look, they could have made it into a, into a, a, a 100 ml. Yeah. That'd be good enough. No. Nope. Oh. Nope. They're just messing with you. Yeah. They want you to make the seven hundred dollar one. <laughs> if I buy the seven hundred dollar one, it probably would be for as a collector's item. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah it would be as a collector's item. But you know, I might end up giving this one away. Uh well, shut your mouth. <laughs> Don't even. That's a gift. The so, okay, here's okay. why I'm getting about this okay i have a dear friend at Saks named yvette and i want you all to reach out to her for your special fragrance needs yes, now yes. i know that Saks is not uh the most budget friendly place <laughs> and this isn't the most budget friendly fragrance let's face it it's killians are not cheap um there are things i would buy at Saks, and there are things i would never buy at Saks. Killian, I would go through this. Um, this woman, Yvette, is so kind and will just go out of her way to help you, to find goodies for you. To So she's the one who gave me these ahead of time, the Angel Share and the Rose uh, on Ice. And then she sent both Rose and uh, me the little miniatures with our big purchase. 
and she can just order you anything you want. Um, Rose is going to put her email and cell phone number and it's already, name. There. It's already there. On, okay. on She's got on that down at the bottom yeah. and please yeah. reach out to her. She's super friendly. Um, and we'll help you with anything and order it. And if she can't order it, she'll try to find to, <laughs> that's funny. It is kind of like Cinnabon yummy. Um, <laughs> But yeah, please reach out to Yvette. I mean, I have no nothing to gain out of this, but I adore her. And she's the one. They had nine in the store, and she got us two. I mean, she would have gotten me all of them if I wanted them, but um I was able to get I was able to get Rose and and one for us. Yeah. Ooh, and common sense. But they are back ordered now. They are tremendously back ordered. So if you want one of these, you might have to wait. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, one is not It's not that no. much to do, but I think it's worth the wait. So I want to do something nice for people here. Uh, I cannot give you this because it was a gift, right? Amali said no. And Sorry, guys. This is, I'm the hard one. This is too too little for me to give people a deck and all because it's, it's 1.7. Nobody shares a 1.7 ounce perfume, right? But, uh, oh, Pam said she has Yvette's contact information. Oh, great. Thank yeah. you. Please do. Yeah, and if you want to say you got your, your her information from me, that's fine. You don't have to. But if you want to mention Maddie, I'd appreciate it just so she knows where you came from. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Did we lose Rose? I don't oh, know. Am I, I all by myself? I'm, I need to step away to get something to give to, to, the, to the group here. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take myself out. Keep talking. <laughs> oh, this is scary. I have to talk. Um, so I have a funny story about this perfume. We are in Arizona, as I mentioned, and it's always sunny here. So we were thinking about making our home solar, which, uh, you know, is powered by the sun. So you don't pay the electrical company. You generate your house energy by sun. Um, so the solar selling people are very aggressive. They're super pushy and everybody thinks their company is the best. So we had like five, maybe eight people come out and try to sell us solar because we wanted to find the best one. So the second to last guy who came out was lost his crap over my perfume collection. I have, you see this little case back here. I have seven of those and three other armoires full of perfume. Um, so I have a few bottles <laughs> and he was like, Oh my God, I love, you know, and he was just getting started with like Creed and a couple other the big names, not really knowing niche. So I pulled out a few bottles for him to smell and he smelled the Baccarat 540 and he smelled the Tom Ford, uh, a fabulous. And I just pulled out a few. I thought he might be interested in. Um, I brought out, uh, what is it? Bond number nine, uh, Greenwich Village. You know, just kind of neutral, masculine, but delicious. Well, not even masculine, like unisex, I think. Those all were unisex. And he fell head over the heels with the Killian. And he was like, I need your friend's name. I need that bottle. And he was, he was so pushy, though. He was trying to talk me out of my samples. And I'm like, I don't like you that much. I don't, you know, I don't owe you anything. You're a salesman. You don't get my stuff. So anyway, that was kind of the funny thing with my Killian. And it was a neat experience just to have a stranger appreciate the collection. But um, <laughs> kind of funny. So um, I'm kind of freaking out that Rose isn't back because back. I can't hear you. Oh, you're, you're, you're back. That was perfect oh. time. Okay. So how many people do we have on this room? We have 32 people. Yay. Okay. So Thanks, guys. We're so happy you're here. I don't have 32 bottles of perfume to give, right? But I have three really good ones. Uh, let me see. How do, I don't know how to give it. How do I share three bottles of perfumes, right? Uh so Pam Jordan, do you have uh Lotwa Wood by Maison Lacom? This is Ooh, the I don't have that. Yeah, this is the original one. Okay, Pam, it's not full, it's half. Do you have this one, Pam? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Bueller? Bueller? Pam Jordan, is she there? She's probably typing, maybe. Maybe. Did she leave? I don't see Pam. Okay. Do you want to do 
small contributions oh, or do you want to do this, this is coming to you pam, pam says she does it would you like it pam she's oh she more said she said no okay yeah so pam this is coming to you all right you get oh this is a half bottle this is the original one don't don't use it too much because they don't make they don't make the original one in, in we're the getting a very precious thing yeah, this is one of the first ones that came out okay i'll uh, fight you for it no <laughs> hey fafa Fafa's Hi, from, from, from haiti that's my that's my haitian hey. boy. see i have one in, one here and i have a youtube boyfriend and i have a haiti boyfriend girl yeah so, uh, and you probably have a dog too who goes crazy every time right. i say that. Two, more. two more bottles okay one of them is a very special bottle i've never used it this one is a uh, bond number nine madison avenue anybody anybody from madison avenue it's brand new oh my gosh you guys are dragging tonight yeah they are dragging we're foisting free things on you you show up you get free things we love you that do you realize what that bottle is Me, you know what missy said missy said i have men in uh in, in different cities and different countries <laughs> temptress and now with angel share she will be Stop. Stop. Would like it. Okay, so yummy for one one gets yummy for eleven. <laughs> well, oh God, Maddie left. Left. Maddie oh. left. I'll be right back. Okay, all right. So uh, yummy gets this one. All right, I have one last one. The last one that I have, uh, I want to give it to uh, a newcomer. Uh, to uh, to the person who's uh, I'm back. Yes. Sorry. I want to give it to a newcomer to the channel. Who is the who's a newcomer? A newcomer to the channel. Any newcomers? Uh, besides Joy. Joy is a newcomer. And I, I'm going to get something for Joy. Uh, Dylan, you are not a newcomer. <laughs> you know, okay. you know, what about Lenora? Is right. Lenora new? You know, did you say you want this one, Leona Rice? And by the way, these are all fall and winter perfumes. So Leona yes. Rice, beautiful fragrances for this time of year. Yes. Okay, Leona Rice, this is yours. Mike Pierre said me. Too late now, Mike Pierre. You were snoozed. You yeah, snoozed. But, okay, so. but I have a little thing I can share. Uh not nearly as exciting as those bottles. Yeah, but I have a tiny sample of Arizona perfume I will send you from me. So if anybody wants that yeah, Arizona perfume, I can send okay. that your way. All right. So who uh, we have uh, this one for Pam, Pam Jordan, right? We have this one for who is this one for? Uh, Leona Rice, right? Yeah, Leona. And then this one is going to who is the person? This one is going to. I'm yeah. sorry, I can't see oh, yeah. that. Who gets this one? Let me guess this one. Yes. You and I guess this one. All right. So that's three. Uh, I think I have one more I can give. Oh my God, Rose. Yes. I have crazy. One. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, I have one more I can give. Just don't look at my legs, okay? Because. Because uh, she didn't shave. No. no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. So <laughs> when I came from work, I had uh, my uh, sweater on and I put it on and with the duck lipstick, I, I look like a, the Halloween lady and I don't celebrate Halloween. Um, so I went and took it off, but I had a skirt on. I did not take the skirt off. So I have a dress on, but the skirt is showing is also. So do not look at my butt. Now we're all gonna check out her butt for no, sure. You cannot see it. <laughs> we're all looking. We see a reflection in the perfume cabinet. No, I'm oh, just yeah, kidding. Oh yeah, you guys can see it. I'm kidding. We can't see your butt. We aren't looking at your butt. <laughs> Right, you guys have to realize how generous she is being tonight. We weren't expecting any kind of giveaways, and look what she's given to you guys. She's amazing. But I have okay. Here's the thing: I have enough perfume. Uh, you know, even if I die 30 years from now, I would never be able to finish using them. Seriously. All right. So, and you guys, please make sure, make sure you you guys are. Uh, 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 message me so I can get them out to you and I promise I will get all of them out to you by Thursday morning because I will prepare the thing the what do you call that the stickers and get them out but 
<laughs> very, very slow. You can do that. Extremely slow. So it might take you a while to get them. So here's another one. Magnolia Sensio by Bulgari. And this one not full bubbles. Okay, this one is not full. It's half. If someone would like this one. What is it? It's yours. Oh, apparently there's a question in the chat. Oh, Nat what's the said, I don't know. Something about the solar guy? I don't oh, know. The cabinet? Or the solar guy. Oh, someone wanted to know if we went with the solar guy, I think. No, we didn't. Wow. And it was quite the letdown because he called me afterward and wanted to know why. And then I was telling him, but he still wanted to know about perfume. So it was very awkward. He was like, well, you know, you need to still go with me and I can do the best prices. But do you have a coupon for this? Or do you know a website? Can you hook me up? And I'm like... It's very awkward. Okay, so. Gillen, so whatever you're getting from this Omo, I want it, please. Okay, Gillen, you can have this one. You can have the Splendida uh, by uh, Bulgari. Bulgari. Magnolia Sensual. This is, this is like a very boozy, sweet fragrance. You will yeah. not go. Yeah. You will not go. You can have this one, uh, Gillen. And it's red. She's giving away a red bottle. I know. Yeah. And, and, you know, I love red. You guys can tell, you know, everything that I have is red. Okay, so Gillen. Okay, I have one more. The last one is Oud Wa Vanilla. It's one of the, the perfume I was selling uh, on uh, the other day when I was doing the uh, uh, the, the, the fundraiser. Uh, fundraiser. So I was selling one of those. So if somebody would like this one, I've okay. already tried it already twice. But uh, if somebody would like this one, it's yours. It's it's you know it's unisex. Chaperonzo said me. Chaperonzo, I'm not going to give you this fragrance because it's going to cost me more to ship it to you. <laughs> than, if than you come and get it, get it, you can have it. Huh? If no, he comes and gets it, he can have it. So I have to get him, buy him something and ship it to him directly there. But I get you. Joy Weaver, Joy said, did, I didn't give Joy anything. Joy said me. Okay. All right. Joy, this one. Uh, well, okay. So Helen, uh, says she loves wood but joy said yes first so joy this one is coming to you so please guys send me your addresses uh either email it to me at uh dr roses perfume corner at gmail.com or if you're on facebook you can find me on uh, messenger it's dr rose chaperone on messenger or if you're in the facebook group please just you know send me a message but do not post it on facebook please no. Oh, Maud, you missed it, girlfriend. Oh, Maud, hi. Maud, I just gave away this perfume. You just missed it, Maud. Yeah, we Maud, gave away like <laughs> and, 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 and. Yeah. So we, uh, how many did I give away tonight? Two, four, five. It's only five. That's fine. I mean, yeah, no, seriously. I mean, I have 200, what, 230 something bottles. I give five bottles away. It's nothing. Yeah, it's fine. You're amazing. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, and that's why you guys should like and subscribe and con contribute and watch and follow her station and everything because she will give to you. Me, men. I don't know. I don't have anything for directly for guys. Uh, everything I have is for women. I mean, well, they're, they're unisex, but I don't see anything for men that I, I'm going to say, hey, take this one. That is, you know, directly for guys. I'll tell you what, anybody who wants a sample of the Arizona, I will send it to them. It's just a little tube, but so you aren't giving away your whole collection. I will send anyone who wants it tubes of Arizona from Arizona. Oh, oh is that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God, you're giving away no, your collection. No, no, I, have, I have a little packet that I received from, from somewhere. Hold on, hold on. She's crazy. No, she's Okay, so I don't know. Can you guys hear me? We can hear you, yes. I don't know what's in this little packet here, but let me see. Can you I bring it to Arizona, babe? Nobody wants them. <laughs> okay, so I never opened the little packet. I'm trying to see what else I have. So babe, they're up in, uh, in one of the apothecaries on top of the bar. Okay. So, all right. Let me put my mic uh, on so people can hear me. 
All right. So this is a little packet that I received from our from uh from uh Dior. Okay. Uh, I don't know what uh, you know when I ordered stuff from Dior. I think I have two of them. You're giving me a heart attack. Ah, uh, no, no. This could be like if someone has a little little daughter. Uh, it has a little bottle of in the apothecary jar on the bar. Okay. So this is what's in it. It's I don't know if this is gonna work chicken to somebody. It has a, a, a bottle, a little bottle of uh, oh. your uh, blooming bouquet, right? And then it also has uh, another small of uh, Miss Jo ro uh, Rose and Roses. So if someone would like would like this, you know, if they have like a little girl, you know, little kid, maybe a six year old kid, I'm sure they would really really like this one. That's fine. Uh, if someone would like this for a little girl, I'm happy. To send it. I think I have an I have an extra one, so I, I probably will send both of them. Uh, if someone would like, would like this for you know, you just give it to it. If you give this to a little six year old, seven year old kid, it's like you, you give them the wall. They they'll just love it because you know I used to be a kid myself when I used to jump my grand grandmother's booze. <laughs> <laughs> What? You just okay. have to get boobs in there to make sure people will still pay attention. <laughs> so, so I mean, yeah, it's a little, you know, it's a little uh, whatever you call it, right? Uh, oh, hey, okay, one more. Old Vanilla, Old Vanilla by Frank Olivier. Naps, this is coming to you. Naps and Nurture, my pal, this is coming to you. It's like a fire sale. You're right, Naps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have it, Naps? Do you have this one? I don't think he has it. So send me an address, my friend, and then uh, it's yours if you don't have it. But uh, I have to use it tomorrow because it's going to be my uh, my Thursday, my Wednesday perfume. <laughs> I'm going to use it tomorrow. I have my Wednesday perfume and then it's coming to you. Is that okay? You're so weird. <laughs> yeah. You're so weird. Huh? I know. You're I'm weird. Weird. I know. I'm weird. Look. Okay. Here's the thing. Let me tell you something. When you've been blessed, people have been good to you all your life. You do the same thing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen, Amen. sister. People are good to you. Uh, you have great family. You have great friends. You are able, you know, you work, you're able to afford something. You turn around and you, you, you know, help other people. I think giving the gift of perfume is one of the nicest things. It's a beautiful gift. Life, right? It's a beautiful gift. You have people to smell their best. Okay. Well, who doesn't want to smell good? Right? Yeah. And I think that, you know, just one perfume is not enough. If, if you guys have just have one bottle of perfume, you better call, you know, call Dr. Rose. Because Dr. Rose will you hook you up. One bottle of perfume is not enough. You need to have at least three. Okay? Why do you need three? One for work, one to go out like any day, and then one for special occasion. Like, and one for sexy time. Well, sexy time uh, could be the special occasion. I just <laughs> yeah. Or if somebody's coming downtown, you know I mean? someone's coming downtown, right? Not just about spit on his drink right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're losing it, Rose. We were supposed okay, to keep this down to half an hour. One good one. Uh oh, Joy said I was supposed to send, send to send her some a while ago. So what did what did Joy get? Oh, did Joy you, didn't get anything. Did Joy, she get something? Joy got something. Okay. Hi, Unique. Uh, uh, three seven seven US. Hi, you mean I, I didn't get to get to give you anything, Unique? Next time you, you come you come to my live on Friday, I'm gonna have a live, Unique. Then may, I may get you a decade or something, a decade of you know something really good. Okay, Pipe up nice. and she'll give you the world. <laughs> uh, nice. uh, yeah, so you know, Nelly said, so true, good come always comes back to you. Yes, it comes back true, to you. Nelly. True, Nelly. You know, you're a nasty person. Guess what? It comes back to you too, 10 times four. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I believe in you know in helping people. And you know what? I'm going to do a live where I'm going to give most of my uh, eyeshadow palettes away because I have too many freaking eyeshadow palettes that I never use. They're just okay. I have a lot too. Yeah, I, I have four seven. 
47 new eyeshadow palettes. And these are not like $5 palettes. These are like $50, $60 eyeshadow palettes that are just sitting there. Not, I'm not using them. And I only have two eyes, right? <laughs> That's what Matt just said. He's like, you only have two eyes, and I'm laughing. And Yeah. Oh, so Helen, you have a channel, Helen? Oh, I didn't even know that. So I need to go and check your channel out, uh, Helen. I'm going to check you out after this. Oh, that's your puppy? This is over. Say hi. So you, uh, you are your energy. Always try to be good energy because it returns home. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. You, I mean, you, you have to be good to people. Uh, she said, and you are good to people. I always say, uh, I always totally say. yummy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, it, uh, people always say, sometimes you hear people say, you know, it, it pays nothing to be nice. But nope, it so doesn't cost a penny. Mean to people, because when you mean to a person, you have to think about what you're gonna say to them, right? But when you're nice to a person, just saying hello, hey, how are you? It's just it's easy. But if you mean to a person, you have to find a way. Especially me, English is not my second, my first language. If I have to cut someone out, I have to look up a dictionary. What do I say to that person? Seriously, <laughs> to translate it. <laughs> I have to in my mind, what I'm gonna say to that person just to make it sound mean. But instead of doing that, why not just, why not just be nice, right? Be and nice. it feels so much better to be giving and kind and warm than to carry the burden of that anger. Thank you, Lenora. This is yeah, over. The burden of that anger to, you know, hold grudges and stuff. Why do you want to do that? Nobody should, you know, should do that. You shouldn't do that. I mean, especially now in 2020. Look what, what are we going to. Look what just happened. How many thousands of people died, right? You think that we would learn, we would learn this and say, you know what? Maybe this is time for a change. Let me stop being a bitch to people, right? Let me treat women nicer. You see, uh, well, Joy said I was the best boss ever for 14 years now. Been friends for 14 years. Yeah, she was, uh, Joy was my, my assistant. I'm telling you, she treated me like a daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. So, uh, you know, people died doing, I mean, doing, doing March, April, people were freaking dying. People and are still people dying, dying and it's getting yeah. bad again. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, uh, Pinoa. Uh, so today I, I, I was watching, uh, I, I read in the news, this woman went to a store and a store employee asked her to put on a mask. She stabbed him and killed him. Yes. She stabbed the guy and killed the guy. Now, was that necessary? Right? Mm. You may not believe that people die, would die from COVID. I don't know why anybody wouldn't believe that unless you're, you're mental, right? But do you really want to go and kill someone over that? She wanted to kill someone. She wanted okay. to kill someone. And I think she would have killed anybody. Because someone asked you to put on a mask. You don't want to put on a mask, just leave, right? That's hate. That's anger and hate. Yeah. But you that upset, you're going to pull a knife as a woman and you're going to stab someone to death. You kill the person with multiple. I mean, it doesn't take one stab, one to kill someone unless you, you know, cut them, got them in the aorta or something, right? Or the spine or something. But Jim, you take your time to stab someone and, and kill that person over one a freaking mask, which that person was, was actually helping you out, right? They were trying to help you to tell you, look, Put on a mask, you're gonna protect yourself, you're gonna protect other people. Even if you don't believe in COVID, then don't go to the store. You don't wanna wear a mask, don't go to the store. During March and April, I did not go to the store because I, I knew I would not be feel, feel comfortable with a mask on. Because I knew that, and uh, if you guys can hear sometimes when I'm speaking, I have to you know, take some time to, to catch my breath. So I knew it was gonna be difficult. So I did not go anywhere because of that. But this, this woman just killed someone over, over a mask. She could have she could have just changed the situation. She could have just left or just put a mask on, go into the store and then do her, her business. But she decided to take a life. In 2020, if people are don't, don't try to be nicer to people in 2020, I don't know who they're going to be nice to. Because everybody's going to the same thing. It, you know, it's not like there's a uh, you know an earthquake where you know part of the of the world is destroyed, right? This, this is something that, that, you know, a disease that affects everybody. It impacts yeah. everybody in their homes, in, in their, their homes. families. It hits home for everyone. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, 
in some way in some way in some way so everybody's affected some people lose their jobs they lose their homes they lose their cars they lose their husbands and some you know the, some people ended up with a divorce because the husband was always home out with them during during the pandemic and they couldn't live under the same roof together so i mean it happened right yeah joy said this has been the year from from from, from hell it is it has been the year from from hell for everybody right so I, I urge people, you know, I'm not preaching guys, but I urge people, be a little bit nicer. Be a little bit, you know, uh, warmer to people, right? Say hello. If you know someone, you haven't seen them yet, you know, just text them or send a message. Yes, hey, I was thinking about you. You know, how are you doing? It doesn't then, anything more just to do that. Well, what I was going to say, Rose, it doesn't cost anything to be kind. No, it costs no, nothing. No. It doesn't take anything from you to be nice or to smile or to be friendly. You may not feel like it. You may not want to. But there are so many times when just a smile to somebody else can change what they're experiencing. Yes. So I don't know when this became about help and kindness. But, you know, and the Killian smells good, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, it Oh, I mean, so doing, so a personal thing that happened to me during COVID, right? Uh, I was home and, you know, and not being able to see my family because I was afraid of traveling, right? Because I used to travel for, you know, this is like my very long time I had traveled for work, you know, because I took this full-time job. But uh, I, some people that I haven't seen for a while that, you know, people that I used to work with, what I did, I texted them, said, hey, how are you doing? You know, I know it's a pandemic. I hope you're well. I mean, you know, some of them, they don't even answer. Uh, there was one lady uh, who uh, I texted her and said, you know, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're well. And, you know, she said to me, why are you texting me? I said, I'm just wishing you well. So she didn't say anything. And then uh, a week later, she responded, she responded to me. She said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Rose. I said, were well, you going to do something? She's like, yeah, I, I had problems with my husband and stuff. I'm like, but okay, uh, I'm glad you're okay. And she said, oh, uh, yeah, we're fine now, but, you know, uh, I wish he had COVID. When she said that, I just, I, I said nothing. I was like, okay. Yeah. What can you say? Yeah. What what do you say to that? If you want to wish that your husband had COVID because you hate him that much, you need to leave him. Yeah. Seriously, you need to leave him. Don't stay with him if you wish that he had COVID. Because if, pe if people do not know how people suffer from COVID, you probably should go and visit a hospital and, and ask a doctor. You know, what happens to people with COVID? When a person cannot breathe, right? The person is in pain. Suffer. And alone, totally alone. alone. Alone, people were dying in hospitals. They were saying goodbye to their families to FaceTime. Yeah, to FaceTime. But at the same time, you want your husband to get caught, to catch COVID. Guess what? I'm not gonna call you anymore because if you want him to catch COVID, what what do you, what are you gonna wish happened to me? Yeah, that I'm not related to you. Yeah, so I'm not scary, scary, yeah. scary. So. Yeah. Let's get the bad juju out. Yeah, let's get the bad juju out. Yeah, let's get good the bad juju out. Good energy. I'm happy, tonight. Yeah. I'm happy tonight. I have a new perfume. And I just yeah. got five bottles of perfume. So I'm happy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, guys, thank you time. so much. We have room for five more. Here. Yes, yeah. you have room for five more now. Yeah, I have room for five more. <laughs> Misty said, I had it in March and April. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, Misty. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I hope you're better. I hope you're feeling well and your energy's back. And Oh, oh you know, M Misty is one of those people who's up on my shit list in the, in the perfume group, right? Well, then I... No. You are no longer my shit list anymore, okay? Because you had COVID. So you okay. Well, that makes up for it. Yeah. <laughs> So, and you guys, when I say she's on my, my shit list, it's not like she did anything wrong. She was making fun of my uh, cabinet saying yeah. that I did one more. <laughs> yes. Going to. Yes. Oh, get your pallets. Where's my pallets? The over there. I'm going to take it in tomorrow. Yes. Don't be afraid of COVID. Put a, a mask on. 
in the six figure pot and you'll be fine. When you get home, right? Uh, take your take off your clothes. Strip naked. Strip naked and get inside your house. Take a shower. You'll be fine. Or get inside your house and then strip yeah. naked. Don't shake hands. Don't hold people. You'll be fine. But please go vote. Do your duties. Do your civic duties and go vote. Uh, Leonora said, uh, "Missy, I'm happy you are doing well." Yes, yeah. I am so happy you're doing well. You see, this is the thing. We're in the group with Missy. We never knew she was going to do this. Yeah. And, you know, I have, there's one girl in the group. She loves uh, uh, Chanel, right? When I was getting my Chanel Le Lyon, I texted her. She read the message. She never responded. And I'm like, that's not like her. And I, me I messaged her again. I said, are you okay? She never responded. And I messaged her a third time. She never responded. And I'm like, I, I feel so bad. I'm like, is she okay? Maybe she's sick. Because I know I didn't do anything to her. Maybe she's, you know, too sick to even respond. And we had another girl in the group. And during COVID, I kept texting her because I sent her something and she never responded. And I kept sending a message. And I had someone even go and say, please, let's Google her to make sure that she's okay. Guess what? The young lady had COVID. She was in the hospital for days and days and days. So you never know what someone is going through. I may, you know, I may seem really, really happy here right now, but guess what? I could be involved in a really bad domestic, you know, domestic uh, relationship, uh, domestic abuse relationship, and nobody knows what I'm go that I'm going through. That, so you never know what someone is going through. You never I know. Just, what yeah, it's true, and you have to bear that in mind when people are unkind to you. You don't know what they're experiencing or what burdens they're bearing. Yeah. So that's a good reason not to wish bad on them. Just remember, you don't know what other people are dealing with and project kindness on them. Yeah. Except if they call your name. Like that lady who called me the N-word. Well, the don't project kindness on her. Don't on her ass. Don't ever do it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, girl. It's oh, late so, It's 12 after 11. My time. Thank you guys so much. And Thank those of you who won those five wonderful perfumes, and the little bag, please message me. Okay? Message me, please. And then I will uh, get them out to you. It was fun. We talk about perfume, and then we talk about life, talk about COVID, relationships. You know, in this on this channel, you never know. Anything goes. Animal planet, right? Animal planet. <laughs> Little animal planet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Tilmo. Thank you. Thank you, Dre. Uh, Drea and Pam, thank you. Thank you so much for joining, guys. I know it's late for some of you in the East Coast. So get some rice, get some sleep, work perfume tonight. Yes. Yes. Put your best scent forward. Yeah. S smell good. You know, whatever you do, always smell good. Always wear lipstick and wear perfume. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Lenora. All right, guys. It was fun. I will be on on Friday at 7.30 Central and 8 30 eastern and then uh tomorrow i'm gonna have a short video to talk about uh the uh the check i'm gonna post the check so watch for the video so you guys can see copy of the check and copy of the letter and then i will also post it on the perf perfume uh, corner group for those of you who's not part of that perfume corner group please look for it and then be part of it because it's, it's fun all right thank you so much Maddie. i enjoy this Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah. And I'm sure no matter what came across was the fact that we are good friends and we love yeah. ourselves some perfume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, except you did not tell the group how many bars of perfume you have. By the way, my, before I go, guys, I'm going to put it out. Maddie has more perfume, three times more perfume than I have. Yeah. <laughs> See? She's A lady good. never tells, but yep. sometimes they do. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. Thank you so much. I'm gonna end the broadcast now. Okay. Be good. Wear perfume. Um, thank you. <laughs>